In 2024, DJI introduced two exciting entry-level drones, the Mini 4K and the Neo. Both are fantastic in their own right, each offering unique features tailored to different users. Whether you're a beginner stepping into the world of drones or a seasoned pilot, understanding the differences between these two models will help you make the best choice for your aerial photography and videography needs. This comparison will break down everything from build quality and design to camera performance, flying modes and unique features. If you're interested in getting either drones for yourself, I've got affiliate links to both of them and all sorts of accessories in the description below. Let's get started. The DJI Mini 4K is the latest addition to DJI's traditional entry-level lineup and is both compact and very portable, weighing under 240 grams. It retains the classic foldable arms design, making it perfect for travel and casual flying. This sub 250 gram classification allows the Mini 4K to bypass certain regulations in many countries, meaning users can enjoy more freedom and less red tape when flying. The Mini 4K feels solid in hand despite its lightweight frame, and while it's small, it doesn't compromise on robustness. The propellers are exposed, which is typical for DJI's Mini series, and it has a moderate wind resistance rating of level five. There's a three axis gimbal on the front, which keeps the 4K camera stable as you fly. The DJI Neo, on the other hand, takes portability to a new level. At just 135 grams, it's much smaller, lighter, and more compact than the Mini 4K, comparable to the size of an adult's hand. The Neo features enclosed propellers similar to DJI's Avata series drones, which enhances safety, especially for beginners or when flying around people. Its body has been kept simple, being one solid structure, with a single axis gimbal supporting the 4K camera. The propeller guards can be removed or replaced as needed, and it's constructed from lightweight grey plastic with a focus on portability and easy setup. The design of both drones make them travel friendly, but while the Mini 4K is built for versatility and solid performance in various conditions, the Neo focuses on ultra portability and safety, with some sacrifices in wind resistance compared to its heavier counterpart, as it is rated at level 4, and I'll explain what that actually means a little later. As its name suggests, the Mini 4K captures video footage at a maximum resolution of 4K at 30 frames per second. This drone uses a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor and also offers 2.7K and 1080 resolutions at 60 frames per second, giving flexibility of resolution and frame rate, which is always nice to have. Its three axis gimbal ensures smooth and stable footage, even when the drone is flying in windy conditions or at speed. This combination of resolution and stabilization is ideal for anyone looking to capture quite professional level footage for content creation, personal projects, or travel vlogs. The Neo also shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second and has a slightly larger half inch sensor compared to the Mini 4K. Whilst you'd expect the video quality to be better on the Neo, as the drone only has single axis stabilization, it relies on digital stabilization to keep the footage smooth, which it does very well even in windy conditions, but due to cropping in on the sensor for stabilization, the overall quality of the footage is reduced a little. That said, at its price point, the Neo performs very well and its compact size makes it perfect for quick casual captures. For stills photography, the Mini 4K supports 12 megapixel still images in both JPEG and RAW format. The fixed f2.8 aperture takes sharp photos, which works well for most aerial shots, but lacks the versatility that more expensive drones have with multiple lenses and larger sensors. The Neo also supports 12 megapixel photos, but it only allows shooting in JPEG format, which is a limitation for those who prefer working in RAW files for post-processing as you don't have the option here. It's worth noting that neither the Mini 4K or Neo have D-Log or HDR shooting options. The Mini 4K is probably the superior option for those seeking high quality stable footage with more post-production flexibility, thanks to its raw photo support and superior stabilization. The Neo, however, provides very respectable image quality in a more affordable and compact package, making it ideal for casual users or beginners. The Mini 4K offers up to 31 minutes of flight time under ideal conditions, though in reality this tends to be around 25 minutes depending on wind conditions and flight speeds. The drone can handle winds of up to 24 miles an hour or level 5 wind resistance, and while using it I've been impressed just how well the propellers and gimbal handle windy conditions. 
Flight controls are managed through the RC-N1 remote control, which connects to the DJI Fly app for real-time video transmission and lots of extra flight settings. The controls are pretty intuitive with three flight modes, Sport, Normal and Cine. The Sport mode delivers the highest speed and responsiveness, with Normal being the middle speed, while Cine mode slows down movements for smooth cinematic shots. The DJI Neo offers a maximum flight time of 18 minutes, which, while significantly shorter than the Mini 4K, is expected due to its smaller size and lighter battery. The Neo can handle winds of up to 18 miles an hour, which is level 4 wind resistance, making it slightly less resistant to wind than the Mini 4K, and it really needs good conditions to fly. One of the standout features of the Neo is its variety of control methods. You can fly the Neo using the traditional RC N3 remote the DJI Fly app on your smartphone, or even through Palm Takeoff and Control, which uses AI to follow you and doesn't require any external controllers at all. The Neo also supports DJI goggles and RC motion controller, offering an immersive FPV or first-person view flying experience, though this is more of a niche feature, which adds to the cost quite a bit. Overall, the Mini 4K excels in performance with a longer flight time, better wind resistance, and more refined control options for serious flying, However, the multiple control methods of the Neo are really innovative and make it that bit more of a fun drone. Both the Mini 4K and Neo come equipped with a range of intelligent flight modes, but both lack obstacle avoidance present on DJI's higher-end models. On the Mini 4K you'll find quick shots, which are pre-programmed flight paths which allow dynamic shots. These include Drony, where the drone ascends backwards while focusing on the subject, Rocket, where the drone ascends vertically while keeping the camera pointed downward. Circle, where the drone rotates around the subject. Helix, where the drone flies in a spiral path around the subject. And Boomerang, where the drone flies in an oval shaped path around the subject. These modes are a great tool for beginners to capture cinematic footage without having to manually fly complex flight patterns. The Neo, despite its smaller size, packs in a surprising number of intelligent flight modes. It includes the same quick shots as the Mini 4K, but goes one step further by offering Follow, where the drone follows behind the subject, and Direction Track, where the drone moves with the subject. There's also AI subject tracking and automatic footage capture, something that's not available on the Mini 4K. The Neo's standout feature, however, is its palm takeoff and landing. In this mode, you can control the drone without a control, making it perform quick shots around your chosen subject. In addition to this, the Neo introduces focus track modes, available when using the RCN3 remote controller. These are Active Track, where the drone follows a moving subject, keeping it in frame. Spotlight, where the camera remains focused on the subject while you manually control the flight. And Point of Interest, where the drone flies in a circle around the subject at a fixed distance and altitude. All of these intelligent flight modes can be tweaked in settings, so you can change the distance and heights of how it flies around its subject. The DJI Neo clearly excels in the versatility of its intelligent flight modes and is truly packed with features. It's great to have quick shots on the Mini 4K, but there isn't even a basic subject tracking which similarly designed and priced drones from other manufacturers do. Perhaps a firmware update is needed, DJI. The Mini 4K boasts a flight time of 31 minutes, though real-world performance usually sees this reduced to around 25 minutes. Charging the 2250 mAh battery takes around 1.5 hours, and with the Flymore Combo Kit you'll get three batteries in a charging hub, which will charge multiple batteries simultaneously, keeping you in the air longer. Replacement batteries are relatively affordable at around £60 or $80. The Neo's smaller 1,435 mAh battery provides up to 18 minutes of flight time, with real-world usage generally offering around 15 minutes. Charging is fast, taking just an hour, and like the Mini 4K, the Neo Fly More Combo Kit allows users to charge the three batteries at once too. Neo batteries are extremely lightweight at just 45 grams and cost about £35 each, so aren't a burden on the wallet or to carry around. There's no doubt that every Neo flyer would want a longer lasting battery, but that's the compromise of such a light portable drone and is all the more reason to fork out the extra money for the Flymore Combo Kit.
priced at £275 or $350 for the base model and around £390 or $449 for the Fly More Combo at the time of writing, the Mini 4K offers incredible value for those seeking a drone with a high quality 4K camera, robust flight performance and decent battery life. The NEO is DJI's most affordable drone, coming in at just £169 or $199 for the base model, with the Fly More Combo priced at £299 or $289. It should be noted here that the kits in the US don't come with the RC N3 remote control, whereas they do in the UK and Europe. In some respects, you'd expect the low price for the Neo, as it's such a small drone. However, when you realize all the features it's packed with, it becomes very good value. I do think that the price is geared towards a broader market of people looking for their first drone or a fun drone, rather than serious drone users. Ultimately, both drones do offer excellent value, but the DJI Mini 4K provides more bang for its buck in terms of camera quality, while the DJI Neo is unbeatable for its price when it comes to features. Whichever way you look at it, both the DJI Mini 4K and DJI Neo are fantastic drones to have and fly. The Mini 4K will be perfect for those looking for a more traditional drone with excellent camera quality, longer flight times and more manual control options. It's ideal for beginner to intermediate pilots who want to focus on capturing high quality video and photos without breaking the bank. The Neo on the other hand is, I think, better suited for beginners or casual users who want an easy to use ultra portable drone. Its palm takeoff feature, AI tracking and affordability make it a fun and versatile choice for travel, family outings or content creation. So if your priority is professional grade footage and extended flying sessions, the Mini 4K is your best bet. But if you're after a lightweight, innovative and user-friendly drone for casual filming, the Neo will more than meet your needs. If you're interested in getting either drone for yourself, I've got affiliate links to both of them and all sorts of accessories in the description below. Finally, if you've enjoyed this video and think I've earned it, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Thanks for watching.